Hello, my dear friends, we are continue working with our building La Casa de la Pura. As I said, we will do this building from the zero to the end. So when I say it end, we will do detail. This time we're starting to do the detail and we will start from the wall. Open your project and we will start from the wall. We will use the new layer. We will create the new layer for the wall. This will be plaster. Let's go to the architecture and wall. Here I will choose the internal one. As you remember, we are using internal and external and we should change the type of that. Let's go to the duplicate and let's change the name of that. Right now you can see this is structure wall and concrete. We should change the name from the structure and we should change the concrete because now it's not concrete anymore. This is plaster right now. And don't forget to change the thickness of that because now it's not any big scale right now this is now 10 millimeter only let's go now to the edit material and we will change from the structure to the finish and we will change the material of course to the plaster one once you will change the material to the plaster or anything what you want for example to the tile we will change the thickness of the wall and now we are ready to work Now it's time to place our wall. Actually, you can place it like average wall. Just be careful when you will go to the corner. It will sometimes, so as you can see, going to the middle of the another wall. So this is not a big problem. Just escape, use the escape and draw it again from the dot which you want to the dot where it should finish. So uh, wh why are we doing that? As you know, we're doing that to create the new layer of our the plaster. Once you will finish, we get some mistakes here so you can cut the wall but it's not our way actually in Revit you are able to join wall so go to the 3d as you can see we have these two problems the first problem our plaster it's uh, not uh, full height as you can see it's only like 50 or 500 millimeter so we should change it but before we will change it we will change this uh, the gap how we can do that as you can see here you also we have some problem it's going together if one wall in another wall you can use the just a trim to connect this corner and you should go back and do it everywhere so just be careful check your drawing before you will finish it and join it everywhere where you can once you finish it select all your wall and if you have same problem like mine my wall is not enough the, the height just change unconstrained height to the your height and as you can see now everything correct except only the door but we will solve this problem really fast go just to the modify find here the join and join our main wall with our finish and done if you have some gap in your main wall this gap will come to the our new layer of the wall that's it Once you will create the walls, as you can see, I did it everywhere, we will get the problem. It's hard to understand where is the, our main wall, where our the second layer. So for that one, we will create the new filter. Let's go to the view. Here we will find visibility graphics and we will use the new filter. Let's create the new filter. Here is our filters. As you can see, we already have some one, but we need the new one. Call it as you want. For example, you can just call it finishes or up to you. Once you will finish uh, writing the name, now we should choose the category category it's the wall and now we should choose the type of the one we will use the the thickness here the our thickness of the wall let me I will use that and our thickness should be, be equal to the 10 millimeter because our wall as you know our plaster it's 10 millimeters so let's use the 10 millimeters let's say okay and now let's add our filter to the our view so here is the my view as you can see I already added and let's change the pattern under the cat so I will use just solid graphics and let's say red color and as you can see now all the my walls it's the red colors but here I also I get the problem another wall it's the same but I don't have any red color the reason is because the height as you can see the base constraint is level one and top constraint it's nothing once you will change to the second level you will see everything correct the reason is because the graphic changing only when your wall will be cut be careful with that Thank you. 
Now it's time to fix any problems in our drawings. As you can see, when you're doing everything, uh, when you're finishing your the second layer of your building, sometimes you will get some problem. Like you can see right now, we get gap in our main wall. So what we can do? Okay, we can just a bit extend and trim our the second wall, but the main wall we just should drag and drop our joystick. And as you can see, everything alright. Just drag and drop. But let's see. Here we have the curtain wall, and we have uh, our finishing there just create another layer of the wall which going to the inside and you will do like a covering just be careful the one side it should be be unconnected disallow join the second part it should allow so let's create it as you can see both of part now disallow join and that's why my first wall not connecting and just go ahead and change you should trim all your walls to fix all the problem and don't forget join with the main wall where you have the gap actually better to join with all the walls but don't spend the time just just join there you need it here is another story here is our 3d as you can see and uh, i didn't make any the layer on this room so we should do that we should fix it because as you can see now we have to hear the uh, the structure wall once you will start create your the second layer of your walls uh, it's a not you not get any problem until you not will get some hard connection when you will get again the hard connection don't forget use the as i said already before methods of which you will disallow join right now you can see when i will start i continue to create it and this is automatically joining to the main wall so this is really terrible better use just this allow join and choose manually where you want to join your wall and you not will get any problem Now it's time to create external finishes. Actually, we will do pretty everything same. You just choose, for example, the external type of the wall, change the type, duplicate the name, change the name. Don't forget, you should change the name. Once you will change the name, change material for that. For example, you are using the for finishing the bricks. Change for the bricks and change the thickness of your future external the finishing. So once you will do that, don't forget go to the material, change the material. We did it the filter for the previous one. You should create the few one more filter but don't forget you now have not only 10 millimeter your thickness for example the my wall have the 50 millimeter and my filter will be 50 millimeter once you will do that just go ahead around your building and create the same thing what we did already for the previous tutorial so i think this is not a big problem once you will finish you will cover your all building with the finishing one recommendation use the finishing only level by level don't use it for the whole levels just from the one to the two from the second to the three done 